Hello everybody and welcome to Marchant Chevrolet. I am absolutely excited to show you this amazing 2018 Chevrolet Traverse Premier with Redline Appearance Package. You know, this is an absolutely gorgeous vehicle. And uh, I was out here this past Friday and seen it getting cleaned up and I said, man, I gotta come back on Monday and film it. It is just a beautiful vehicle. And I've been waiting quite some time to film a Redline for everybody on the Marchant Chevrolet website, Facebook, and here on YouTube. So, with no further ado, let's get started. It's my first time reviewing a Redline Traverse and I'm excited to show you what we can see. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that. So we've definitely filmed traverses many a times, but this one is different. And you're gonna see right off the get-go it's different. I mean, first off, the grill. Take a look at that, it's blacked out. A lot of black trim going on all over this Redline Edition. And it's gonna have some red from place to place too, but you'll notice here a dark black finish going around the grill, kind of like a black chrome. The black Chevy logo, which looks nice. So that's looking sweet. The headlights look good. They're all LED. I love how Chevy puts that little Chevy logo down in there. Then you got the fog lights. And again, it's embezzled in that black chrome there. Blacked out chrome on the bottom. I mean, just really makes it stand out a whole lot. So that's looking sweet. And I like how it's white with the black. I mean, it just flows great. Then on top of that, let's take a look at our alloy wheels, right? First off, 20 inch. They gotta be with Continental tires. Yep, you're right. We got a 255, 55 series Continental with a 20 inch wheel. Now, the difference on the wheel here you're gonna notice is you got a black rim, and then it's got the red stripe right there. That's a good indication that it is a red line package vehicle. Then on top of that, you're gonna have black trim going down the side of the vehicle. The Traverse logo's in black with red on the back side, as you can see here, check that out. It's got the red going on there. Blacked out mirrors, roof racks. It's pretty sweet, it really is. Take a look at that. Now let's take a look at the key here for a moment. Check that out. Now not a lot of difference in the key. Does have remote start, let's go ahead and crank it up. We're just gonna hit the lock button once, then hold that down. And now it's cranked up. You can hear the engine, it sounds good. We got a guy right now that's actually on the phone and he's kind of walking around taking a look at it. And uh, he knows what we're doing here, but he seems to be uh, really interested in this, uh, this vehicle. He asked me earlier if it was a Ford. I said, Ford? There ain't no way it's a Ford. This is a Chevrolet all day long. You can't miss the, uh, the black bow tie on the front. So that looks pretty sweet. Now under those mirrors there, it looks like we got a little puddle light I don't see any camera systems or anything like that, like the 360 camera view, but we'll see all that in a few. Your headlights are pretty unique though, again, all LED, your LED daytime running light right there. I love the remote start feature. Let's go take a look at the back. Check it out. The handle's also in black with the chrome little button there to unlock on all your handles. Blacked out windows. Look at this, man, this is sweet, right? You got your sensors in the back bumper there. Your dual exhaust, which is true dual exhaust. There is no uh, chrome little fascia thing going on under there. That's the real deal, folks. Exhaust is coming right out of them pipes, okay? So I like that Chevy's done that. Some of the other brands like Ford and Volkswagen and things like that out there, they are just putting a, a kind of something that looks like a pipe, but it's not, and it's actually shooting out towards the ground. The height, <laughs> Sits nice and high off the ground. I'm loving the black fenders or the fender flares. That looks sweet. Tail lights look good. Blacked out logo back here. More black chrome. You have a camera here, then another camera there for your, uh, your mirror inside the car there. I'll show you that as well. Let's go ahead and open the back up and see what we got going on. Hit this two times. Very nice. I'm loving the power tailgate feature. Wow, this is sweet. You know, I'm also liking the all black interior. Okay, again, you got all this black trim out here then the black interior. Take a look at that, how that's all blacked out. Man, this is sweet. This is a beautiful car. I hope y'all are enjoying watching it with me today. Look at all the cargo space down here. 
you could put ice in there and probably cool down some bottles of water or whatever you want to put in there. If I had a car like this, I would definitely do that. So on a day like today where it's 90 plus degrees outside and I'm out here filming, you know, I could reach back in there, grab me a cold bottle of water and have something to drink. My wife would definitely probably want me to do that because she cares about me and wants me to stay alive a little bit longer. So anyway, so we got the LED lighting right up here. As you can tell, it's a little bit different color. It's not that off white. Let's go ahead and hit that button there and drop this right on back down. Moves down pretty quick. You can adjust the height of the tailgate if you need to. You got your wiper blade here, your third brake light there, your shark fin on top, your roof rails. Let's see if we can open up this for a minute. Look at that. No cap right there, just put in, gas up. You're good to go. All right. Let's take a look at the window sticker. A little tough to see because we got the dark tinted windows, but I'll tell you what I can see. First off, the vehicle gets 27 on the highway, 18 city, average combined of 21 mile per gallon. It's got a 3.6 liter V6, 9 speed automatic transmission. It's got a retail price after the Redline Edition package, which is $24.95, 20 inch gloss black wheels, dual sky, skyscape sunroof, trailering package, following distance indicator, forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, 475, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. But it comes down to be $49,005. You see here, there's that 4905. 98 over invoice is how we sell all new Chevys at $47,542 plus 50 cents. If there's an incentive or rebate or anything like that, you'll get that as well. Currently, right now, we don't have any incentive rebates. But here's the nice thing, folks. You can buy a brand new Redline Traverse that just came in right now, already discounted at 98 over invoice. That's sweet. Upfront invoice pricing, no closing fees, dock fees, admin fees, no aspirin needed at all, car buying without all the nonsense, Marchant Chevy. That's pretty great. We also don't have any dealer add-ons such as rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, closing dog feeds, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware. You know, you're not going to see a lot of car dealerships with a sticker like that. Marchant Chevy's up front. They tell you right off the get-go what's going on and how other dealerships out there are putting more markup on their cars. And that's really the God's honest truth, okay? I hope you know that. All right. Interior, what's different? Well, it's it's black, okay? A lot of it too. I like how Chevy really just made everything flow together. A little bit of different color here, but you got memory seats, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. You got your adjustment button there for your power tailgate. You got your Bose stereo, power seat lumbar, then your leather, premium leather with the stitching, looks great. Heated and cooled seats. Sunroof in the front, sunroof in the back. So that's called a dual skyscape sunroof according to Chevrolet's window sticker there. Let's go ahead and hop in. Have a look around. We're just rocking and rolling today, everybody. No cuts, no edits, no fancy filming. Just raw dogging it with the film and the camera. That's what people like, right? They don't care to see me on camera so much. They want to see the vehicle. So that's what we're doing today. All right, once you're inside the Chevrolet, with remote start. You want to put your foot down here on the brake, press the start stop engine button for it to be alive appropriately where it can crank up and drive down the road. Blind spot monitoring system I just noticed on our mirror. Steering wheel's really nice, got a great feel about it. I love how the buttons are just nice and smooth. It's in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Wow, thank you, OnStar lady. You got a beautiful voice. She's doing a great job for Chevrolet and GMC and Buick. Well, I'm also noticing, hold on, let's see. Okay, yeah, so heated seats is here, cooled seats is up top, dual climate control, home button, all this is about the same. If you've watched similar videos I've done of the Traverse, this is pretty much all the same right in here. You know, you got all these different apps, the camera, you got the 360 view going on, which looks great. Okay, top down, you got your backup camera, your little indicator lines and all, so you can line your vehicle up in the appropriate parking spot. You can cut them on, cut them off. So that's all looking pretty good. That's actually a front view camera. So we didn't see a camera up front earlier, but there's one there. How about that? So that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and, uh, we don't have it in reverse. I like how you can actually access your cameras without having to put it in reverse. 
You also notice here you got two USB ports auxiliary 12 volt and you got your charging station for your wireless phone if you don't need to actually you know plug your phone in you can just set it right there and do that. The screen right here is about the same on every other traverse. Up top there's your sunroofs that's looking pretty good so that's all nice we'll be right back yeah and then the back back here that all looks about the same not a whole lot of difference in the back all right that all looks pretty good so not a whole lot of difference there all right so the guy that was um kind of standing around looking at the car while I was you know filming it he obviously is uh, ready to buy the car so he they took the key from me and they're gonna go out for a test drive so I hope he does buy it because it's a great car, it really is. It's a nice car, it's beautiful. It's the only one we have. I hate to cut the video short because I really was enjoying kind of reviewing it for y'all. But here's the thing. The main thing is, is that we find someone to buy the car. And uh, he seemed like he was catching what I was putting down while talking about it. So let's, let's take a look and see what's going on while they're uh, looking at the vehicle. Again, the red line is sweet. He asked me, bro, he said, is it a Ford? I said, no, man, we're at a Chevy store, bro. Anyways, he knows it's not a Ford. I think he might have thought I said it was a Ford or something like that. But um, what's y'all's thoughts on the red line traverse? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? What do you think about the price difference between a red line and a regular? That is a Premier, and then you got a $1,500 basically extra, it seemed like, for the red line package. So um, is it worth it? I don't know, I think so. I like it. It really kind of makes that car stand out a little differently than some of the other traverses out there. And uh, that's the main thing is that you, 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 sometimes people just drive cars from A to B and they could care less, you know, what color their car is or what it looks like. But some of us, like myself, we want cars that are a little bit more custom. They stand out a little more. Maybe they're a little bit different than every other car in the grocery store parking lot. And I think that's what you're getting with the uh, red line. Now, while we've been doing this in-depth review today, and we just got stopped because this guy wants to test drive it, we're going to walk over here and take a look at some other traverses. And let's see what we got. And let's see the difference in price. Here's a 2018 Traverse Front Wheel Drive 3LT Leather. This one's priced out at $42,485. Take a look. Not a bad looking car. Pretty good. Do you like that white one versus the red line? Again, everybody's got their own preference. Some people might not like the black wheels and all the black trim. Some people may like this look here, which is fine. It's still a beautiful car. My only thing with the Chevy Traverse is I'm not a big fan of those roof racks up there. Check and look at those things, man. They are really kind of different, aren't they? They just sit up a little too high. I mean, I get it. They're supposed to be functional, so maybe that's why they're so high up there, but they just, I don't know. They just, something about those roof racks I'm not a fan of. They just, they don't look right to me, but <laughs> what's my, I mean, what's it matter to me anyways, right? I'm not buying it or using it to put my kayak out on the road. Here's another Traverse, another great color Traverse. That's something a little different. Is that like a dark gray? I think so. What do you think about that? What do you think about silver? Another nice color on the Traverse, right? I think the new Chevy Traverse looks good in about every color they offer. All right, everybody, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching with me. As usual, come and see my friends at Marchant Chevrolet. If you're gonna buy a new Chevy, do business with us. All new cars, 98 over invoice, no dealer admin fees, no dock fees, no dealer add-ons. Just good old car buying. We are only 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway, which is Highway 17, past the Citadel Mall in Charleston. So it's not a far drive to go. And, uh, you know, hey, I think this guy might be really interested. He's out here taking pictures of it with his phone. That tells me he's going to be sending those pictures to somebody to get their opinion on it. What do you think? <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, as usual, everybody, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. Let me know what you think about the red line. And, uh, you know, just, just like, comment, and subscribe. And I've always, if you're in Charleston, come see my friends at March at Chevrolet. They really would like to earn your business the right way. And uh, we'd love to do that as well. So let's see if we can get a shot of him pulling out the parking lot with the red line and get a nice shot of this beautiful SUV coming down the road.
Well, he definitely hit the gas pedal on it to test out that 3.6 liter. I don't even think I hit the gas that hard when pulling out the dealership. I think he's having fun. I hope so. You know, that's one thing, folks. When you go to a car dealership to buy a car, have a little fun, okay? Seriously, have a little fun with your sales guy. Test the car out, feel it. I'll tell you one thing, it's a good place to come out and buy a car at March at Chevy. You got all these nice country back roads out here to really test them out and see what they're all about. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Have a good one. We'll see you soon. I'm signing out.